This is the XR Motion Weekly Update, where we go over everything AR, VR, 3D, motion graphic, AI, you name it, we go over it. In the news, this just in, Meta revealed their new high-end pro headset during Meta Connect. It was priced at $1,500. It will be released very soon on October 25th, which is nice. The headset packs a new Snapdragon XR2, and it has amazing AR capabilities. I'm very curious to try that out myself. As well, you can now have inside-out face tracking, and if you didn't think that was the greatest thing in the world, you can cry with your friends while having legs now. Yes. Anyway, here's something fun. Twitter user bcarlton727 posted saying hello to my new tattoo thunder kitty hellcat artwork and ar by at pixel punch using ijack app to launch super cool love this would love to see more things like this be made the other exciting news unreal engine 5.1 just released its preview its massive release has many new features, including improvements to Lumen and Nanite, which now allows it to run at 60 FPS during games. That's awesome. And Apple M1 slash M2 native silicon editor support. Let's go. And there's also a lot more. Their monthly giveaway has a four in one modular research facility slash mega bundle. Uh, it normally costs $200, and for this month, it's not $100, it's not $50, it's 100% free. So go get that now before it disappears, along with their other free October giveaways. And for other interesting news, Google Ventures invests $12 million in SideQuest. This is to help create more content for their hub, for their XR ecosystem, and, you know, I'm sure that $12 million is probably coming from either their new YouTube 4K paywall, I mean, really, I cannot comprehend that, and or probably from their new watches, which is actually pretty dope. That being said, in AI news, you know, that thing that literally keeps getting stronger by not just the hour, but by the second, it is insane. Google, speaking of again, released examples of their AI animation being powered by Imagine. And this is breathtaking. This is thankfully not being released yet, meaning us animators still have time to switch jobs. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is insane. I mean, I know when they release that to the public, it is going to shake the earth, at least in the creative industry. Lastly, in industry events, Adobe Max Conference is on October 18th through the 20th in Los Angeles, and a B will be October 17th through the 20th, about the same time, in New York City. At the end of NAB on the 20th, we will be having our meetup, so come hang out with us and follow our Instagram or Twitter for more news on that. Anyway, what's your thoughts on the industry? Go ahead, leave a comment, follow, subscribe, yada yada, peace.